got mail. So this is our first unboxing video. We're going to be calling this uh, the mailbag video. And uh, as you can see, we've got a few packages here. We're going to unbox these and um, see what's in them. Wow. Retro Cloud. Okay. Is that Retro Hex? That's the monster. It's a monster. Let's see it. ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, what's this? We've intersected time and space to bring you a video footage of us actually using the mouster for the Atari SD. Yes, that's what's going on. We've broken the fourth wall and we'll do it again. I did mention this will be short, so here it is. You just lift up the Atari SD, plug in the mouster, then you plug in your USB mouse and everything should work. However, if it does not, there's something you can do. So you can actually take a USB drive, plug it into the master while it's powered on, and then it'll copy over an INI file that you can edit to change your configuration. All of the documentation is built into the INI file, so it makes it um, easy to understand. And so after you're done editing the INI file, you can actually place the USB drive back into the mouster and it'll copy over the new configuration. So I just also want to mention that RetroHacks.net did not pay us and they did not send us a free mouster. We're just doing this. We bought it and we're looking at it, doing the unboxing with it. It's just sharing. That's all we're doing and also manipulating space and time. Space and time. Space and time. It's a sticker. 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 It's a, do you know what that means? Sticker wall. Sticker wall. So we can talk about how this package arrived to us. Right. The Royal Mail, the Royals, the Royals who run the Royal Mail apologized to us. We received an apology. From the Royals at Royal Mail. Oi, you got a license for that, mate. Well, here's our Royal Mail. Yes. With our apology. Because apparently, somehow or another, this box got Royal Mail. What in the is that? I don't know, but the Royals apologize. That's not coronavirus, is it? I don't think. So. But look, and it's to me, not you. Are you sure about that? It looks like you wrote that on there. No, it came that way. That's the way it came. Cause this is this is really cool because this is why what is it? Oh, oh look, user ports and prototyping boards. User that board. is very cool. And so we would like to give a special shout out to Tim Harris of the Shareware Plus Commodore 64 and 128 blog. He sent us these baby prototyping PCB boards for the Commodore 64. And you have an expansion PCB, a user port PCB, and also a PCB that has an expansion and a user port on it. So we're going to take these and some duct tape and see what we can come up with. This one is from the Vintage Computer Center. This one is from the Vintage Computer... <laughs> this one is from the Vintage Computer Center. Vintage Computer Center? Vintage Computer Center. LLC. That's right. 
That means they have limited liability. Let's just see. pour it out and see what's in there. Okay. Skittles. It's an SIO cable. What could we possibly do with that? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that thing with the Atari. Don't you remember? Taste that rainbow. Thank you, Vintage Computer Center. Oh, now this is, who is this from? That's from Chris from Florida. Chris from Florida? Now Harry's one of our biggest fans. I think he is one of our biggest fans. Hold on, let's try this from, let, let me move light because you, it's all shadows. Okay. Chris from Florida must really like us a lot. Chris from Florida sent us an entire box of something. Do you have any idea what this is? I have no idea. This is going to be a surprise to everyone. All right, well, let's see what this is. And what is, is this? Is that a note to us? No, this is a manual. Oh. For your phone. Look, we got a telephone. Um, look, it's got PS2 connectors, so you plug that in somewhere. You oh. can never have too many of those. Yeah, yeah. There, there's that. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Is it more of the same? Whoa, is that an RF oh. modulator? Uh, oh, it is a... Oh look, a PCMCIA card. Haven't seen one of those in a while. It's networking stuff. Is that another phone? I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's a, yeah, I think that must be a phone. So there's more phones. RF modulator. But here's a, look, a serial to, um, to AT. Whoa, I haven't seen an AT connector in a long time. Wow, lucky. All right. We've got more, we've got more air pockets. <laughs> you know what it is? Is it a PS5? It is a PS5. Yeah. Those are kind of rare, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, this is from the early days of flat panels there. It needs a little cleaning. It does. You know, people people should probably clean stuff before they send it to us. Yeah. If you can see from the background of any of our shots in any of our videos, we take a great deal of pride in keeping our retro area and spaces kind of clean and tidy. And now we're going to have to like really work to get this up to our standards. Hey, it's an envelope. Wow, an envelope to us. <laughs> City's in. It's an envelope. What's in it? I don't know, maybe it's a sticker. That's from Jacob Yes, these guys. And I think there's a note on the back of that card. Is there? Enjoy. Jeremy. Thanks, Jeremy. And the Creativity Podcast, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Thank you. We're going to put these stickers on... The sticker wall? Sticker wall. We're on Clicky. <laughs> and then you'll cut to something clicking and go, Clicky going, the hell you will. <laughs>
excuse me while I whip this out. With these pie storms, we can upgrade the Amigas and have ultimate power. No. Surely you can't be serious. Fascinating. What are you people? On dope? Yes. The plan is coming to fruition at long last. We should run a complete diagnostic. Thank you, everyone. You've got mail. Oh, did you hear that? That's the bell. And that means it's time for everyone's favorite segment, reading viewer emails. Our first email tonight is from Brian. Brian writes, Zamfir Fan Club. Zamfir is my favorite. Hey, wait a minute. Brian, did you send yourself an email to the mailbag? Why would I send an email saying that I'm my favorite? I know I'm my favorite. <laughs> No, whoever sent that e email is cool, because <laughs> Zamfir is cool. Okay, moving on. What's up with your channel? Hey, been watching your videos for a while. Sometimes I understand what is going on, but other times it seems kind of weird, especially when Clicky or other AIs are in the video. Is there something I'm missing? Thanks, Jim Arnold. Weird. Why I never, I'll have you know that I am here to help save the world. You should be more grateful. I don't see you doing anything to help stop this cause. Dr. Eggman writes, Hidden stuff? Is there a lot of hidden stuff in your videos? I think I found something, but I'm not sure. In 2021 anniversary, Also, I don't like shoes, so thank you. Pseudo Dr. Eggman. Well, Dr. Eggman, that would be telling, but. And everything like that. So stay tuned and try and figure it out if you can. Pets underrepresented in videos. Hello, your videos are alright. However, as an animal lover, there's just one thing I'd like to point out. We've seen Betty the 8-bit cat and Riley the retro dog in previous videos. Now I am of the opinion we should be seeing more of these pets in the videos. In fact, you should do a special video just focus on the activities of your pets. It's not a good look to only show them for a few seconds out of hundreds of hours of videos that you've released. Please consider, Martin. Well, Martin, thanks for noticing Zamfir's pets. Our pets are not the focus of our channel, but we do like to include them from time to time. If we were to start focusing on the pets, we would never have time to make any other videos. But we're showing you a list of our pets on the screen. Enjoy. Whoever sent that email is a monster. I'm sure whoever sent that, that email legitimately is part of the Zamfir fan club. 
dues paying member. Any other words? Oh, I don't know, you're gonna chop this up anyways. I might just well do that, okay. That should go like in the outro or something? That should go like in the outro or something? All right, that should do. If you'd like to have your email read in a future mailbag video, send us an email to mailbag at citiesin.net. Cities Inn is made possible by donations from viewers just like you, including all these great people here. Thank you, once again. And if you'd like to become a supporter, please go to our patreon.com slash cities in site and sign up. Also, don't forget to hit like and share on this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. And that way you won't miss one second of our zany hijinks that we get up to you. Until next time, this is Deadline with Cities In.